All right. Well, welcome back. Uh, we, last time we were together here, we talked about red cabbage juice as an indicator. Hopefully you remembered that acids are going to turn more red with the red cabbage juice, bases are going to turn green, and then if they're very strong, they're going to turn yellow. So the idea behind indicators is to figure out what is the pH of the substance, approximately. But what I want to talk about today is the chemical properties, not the physical properties like pH, the chemical properties of acids and bases. What happens when we combine them with other things? So we're going to look at just the strongest two here the hydrochloric acid and the sodium hydroxide. These two things, if I combine them together, are going to perform a neutralization reaction. Um, this is very strong. If you drink it, it's going to cause serious burns and it could kill you. This is very strong as a base. If you drink it, it's gonna cause serious burns and it could kill you. But if you mix them together in exactly the right amounts, then it would become a drinkable combination of water and a salt. In this case, it would actually be table salt, sodium chloride. So let me get these five kind of rainbow colors out of the way and bring in some fresh examples of the strong acid, the strong base, and a neutral to see how this neutralization reaction works. Here's our hydrochloric acid. There's our sodium hydroxide. And we're gonna mix them together into a separate container and perform this neutralization reaction. Remember, what we're looking for is a neutral color out of our red cabbage juice. And that'll tell us when we've exactly achieved the right combination of acids and bases. So here's our neutral color. Let's pour in quite a bit of this sodium hydroxide. Now we can see that this is a strong base. It's giving us this greenish color, and if we swirl it around more, it'll start to transition all the way towards that yellowish green color. But if I want to make a neutral, I can add exactly the right amount of acid. So here's our strong acid. Add a little bit at a time until we neutralize it. All right. So you could see a little bit of how those colors interacted, but now I've got a color that's a little bit too much of the red. So I had too much Hydrochloric acid, got to add some more sodium hydroxide until I get that balanced neutral. As it starts to add, we can see pockets of it have a different color, and then we give them time to mix together and get us a little closer to that neutral color. And I would say that is pretty good. Maybe a little bit red still, so I'll add a touch more of the base until I get it perfectly balanced out. slightly to the blue side, but pretty close, and just a drop or two of acid. Let's see if we can make it work perfect. So this is the concept of neutralization reactions. We take an acid and a base, we put them together in exactly the right amounts, and we're going to get a neutral substance that has a salt in it and just regular water. If this is the perfect neutral, this would be totally drinkable right now, but I'm not going to drink it because that would be stupid. I don't know where these beakers have been, and even though I'm very confident this is a drinkable range, very close to neutral, um, you never know exactly what else could contaminate it and how that could work. But acid plus base gives us a salt, water, and something with a neutral pH. That is a neutralization reaction. 